Hey guys, out here enjoying the evening. <clears throat> Starting to cool down a little bit. I wouldn't really call it cool, but it is not a sweaty evening. Uh, just wanted to talk about uh, religion a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, as we call church today. We all have been, we live in the United States of America. We've all been condi conditioned um, to know God. You, you go to church. And to find God, you go to church. Um, it's raining out, so nice little background. And uh, but anyhow, I know when God first talked to me. Um, conditions and situation is kind of what led me to call on God even though I felt uh, his presence all around me as a kid um, I knew there was something greater and I did pray um, and uh, I was taught to pray I wasn't taught how to pray um, but I knew about church and I'd actually went to church a little bit as a kid by myself mainly uh, i think a few couple times my mom had went to church i got lugged along with her uh just a few times here and there but nothing nothing steady or anything like that um but anyhow i'm not going to go into all that i'm just going to get to the point here uh, but the conditioning of, of church is how you know god that's that's our american way that's how it's just been taught to us and what we've been conditioned with but anyhow that's that's kind of what what we've been learned and taught so anyhow it's kind of the thing i'm just observing somebody outside over there in the rain just come out but anyhow God has made it very clear. Jesus has made it very clear. One and the same to me. If you read your scriptures, you can know that Jesus says, I and the Father are one. And uh, he came as man, a body of sacrifice. Without blood, there's no remission. And he came to be that once and for all final sacrifice through humanity and laid his life down for our sins once and for all. God robed himself in flesh, put all the spirit that could go into a body of humanity, laid it down for humanity to put that in, and became our high priest who could be touched, who was in all points tempted like as we are, and yet without sin, and became our perfect sacrifice. And so, in that, <clears throat> he would be our mediator between man and God, flesh and spirit. And he became the bridge to be our propitiation. And uh, so, through him, we might have grace. He became our grace, our tether back to communion once again with God without sin. So with that, we have an high priest. And by receiving his spirit, we have that communication back to God. So he then can speak to us, speak to our hearts. It is a two-way communication now that we no longer have the necessity of a priest who once a year would go before God, sprinkling the blood of goats and lambs and uh, bullocks and presenting it before God. Um, so we don't need man anymore. We don't need man living a near perfect, consecrated life before God through ordinances 
and commands of another man uh, who set up those ordinances to Moses and Aaron and, 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 and the priesthood that was done away with when Jesus came. So with that, we have one sacrifice once and for all, and his name is Jesus Christ. So with that, Jesus said in Matthew 16, 13, about being that spirit that we would be able to speak to God and he would talk to us and he would show us things to come. So we don't have a need to go to church every Sunday to hear the word of a man to get the direction of God for our lives. And I put this on Facebook. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, so for those of you that feel you have to go to church each, each time to get the word of God through the lips of a man, um, and I made this statement in, on Facebook that you are no better than someone who has a plastic Jesus sitting on the dashboard of your automobile, hoping that it might save you and draw you closer to God. Um, and that is really about the only, about the extent of your relationship with God because of that. And that man of God that they call themselves and they are self um, instituted. And when you, they preach to you that, you know, by obedience to God through his word and you get the blessings of God, then you give them the blessings of God so that they can bless others uh, by God and through them they bless others, the word and all this. You, you're giving them <laughs> blessings that God gives you and they are reaping your blessings that God gave you and they are the benefactors of the things that God has given you and God said you, through your obedience, are being blessed. And you're not to be giving them your blessings. You are to be living in those blessings yourself. But they have lied to you, saying that you to give them your blessings. And you remain poor while they continue to build their organizations and build their hierarchy and build their buildings and they live on the fruit of your blessings and they tell you that you're going to be rewarded in heaven when they are rewarded here. And uh, yes, they are not going to be rewarded in heaven because they are lying and deceiving you. Um, and they really don't feel like that there is a heaven because they're going to just squander everything that you give them anyhow. And uh, so anyhow... I just tell you today, if you are really wanting to live for God, don't live by man. The Spirit of God is what you need to commune with God with, not through man. Man is no longer uh, what we need to find God through. We find God through God and through Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our communion. He is the one. His spirit is what we speak to God. Through him, he is our God. He is the God that will speak to our hearts and be in our mind. And he knows how to communicate with us. That's his desire is to speak directly with us. And so... I just pray that you would seek after him. And he said, happily, you might find him. And that's what he wants. And he's not interested in going through a mediator again by anyone else, by anyone else's name. He's not interested in talking to you through some fictitious pastor who has been made up and intertwined and deceptively penned in the pages of, of a New Testament that people have twisted around. To deceive you and today we can go boldly to the throne of grace 
in the time of need and speak to God himself through the name of Jesus, through that grace that has come to us through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Grace be unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.